There he is. This scene is hilarious to me. Also replicates a lot of Jacob's Ladder, which is one of their original inspirations for Silent Hill. It does have a plot twist that I find rather funny. Hey. Hey, talk to me. And if you guys have played this game before, oh, oh, this scene is actually really hey. interesting hey. foreshadowing. It's one of those games that kind of essentially tells you what's going to happen before you even know. If you guys remind me, I'll show you the scene in Jacob's Ladder, for those who haven't seen it, at the end of stream, but... but the other thing that this game likes to get away, get, you know, um, out of the way is exactly why you're going to dislike it. I'm gonna try to use nicer words. This is our protagonist, Alex Shepard, which weirdly a lot of people say uh, Jensen Ack- or he looks like Jensen Ackles. I don't really see it. Josh. I hate this little kid. I hate that. Hate him. I genuinely don't like him. Josh, where are you going? Like, God, it's hard not to say spoilers for this game, but let me just say, I don't like Josh. Who's ready for some boobies? I know, that's exactly how I feel, Blaze. Yeah, I've like to me the game very much is just kind. Of, it, it reminds me a lot of the movie. Jackson Ackles is in this game. Me too. I mean, if this happened to me, I would die in a positive way. But truthfully, I just don't get why he has such a strong will to live. L two. Uh, he just looks like Jensen. I wish Jensen was in a video game. That is deeply disturbing. <laughs> Sorry, I knew that was coming. The doctors say that I'm unable to discern fantasy from reality, but I think I know what's going on around here. I saw those demons murder the other patients. I want to escape this cursed place, but I don't dare venture into the light. It seems that they're attracted to light. That's why people need light to see around their natural prey. They also react strongly to sound. If you want to go on living, you'd better off, you're better off just sitting in the dark and staying quiet. Even that probably won't save you. I want, like, I need to create something that's, like, the opposite of speed running. It's, like, a slow running. And it's just, like, people doing stupid things in video games. Let's dance, queen. I keep hitting the wrong button. Strut over here and let's roll. She's not here. 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 Y'all, I don't think she's here. The old bugs, they're really cute, to be honest. He just wants to be your friend. This is me as a girlfriend. Can I stab these? Oh. Let's go. I really have to go to the bathroom, but I really want to get to a certain part in this game before I go to the bathroom. But like, I think that's also a little stupid because I should just go pee. But like, my brain's like, you got to get to the part. Oh, it's a person who's cut in half by a big knife. I wonder what kind of large knife and large human is big enough to do that. Wow. The other half of that person who was cut in half. Who has the power? Setting the electroshock machine beyond the seizure threshold has ye yeeted 
as Yi did, yielded impressive results in the patients. The most violent and depressed patients are rendered completely docile. The only side effects have been minor memory loss, some dislocated bones, one fractured leg, and a patient bit off his tongue. This accident was quite a nice side effect as this particular patient was one of our noisiest. If you think that nurses don't actually talk like that, they do. They really, really do. I'm instructed the doctors to continue with this intensity level for all treatments. Um, who wants to get electroshock therapy treatment with me? Joshua, is that you? I'm busy. Go away. This is just how kids are, by the way. What are you doing here? I want my toy. How did you get here? How did you get here? Someone brought me here. They told me Robbie was here. Guess what, you bitch? They lied. Guess who has Robbie, and guess who does it? You, you tiny, tiny prick, okay? Sorry, I really hate this kid. I don't think I can help you. I'm sorry, I don't have any toys for you. Find Robbie, I want my toy back. I want my toy back. Okay. Oh, Where's Yuri, I like that. We'll see if I can find him. There he is. This scene is hilarious to me. Downpour does not have enemies. And to me, that or it does, I'm sorry, it does have enemies. It doesn't have boss fights. And that is so odd to me, especially coming off of this game, which technically we're supposed to be coming off of Shadow Memories, which just doesn't even have combat. Damn, that Robbie's ugly. Mine, however, so sexy. <sighs> Something to fight. Where are you? Oh, freaking bugs. I don't want to fight bugs. Oh, that precision. I missed an auction for one a few years ago, and I'm so sad. Oh yeah, Monocle Man. I was, Yuri, I was about to say the song slaps. Josh! Josh, come back! Where are you going? Josh! Scarlet's my favorite boss fight. I think I hear the faint sound of water lapping on the shore, but the source seems to be coming from just beyond the store. It's impossible. This is a hospital. No wonder you can't use the elevator, you idiot. Yeah, for a game that- a PS3 game from 2008, absolutely. what that noise could be. Is it a large man? It's a large sword. I wonder whose large sword that could belong to. Pedri. And hey, it's Travis Grady from Silent Hill Origins, which we definitely finished. Hi, my sweetheart. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate you. This song also slaps. They could straight up put Travis Grady in every single Silent Hill game and I'd be happy. Uh, yeah, you can ask a question. I'm trying to do, like, I'm trying not to spoil anything. This is one of my, like, least favorite eras of gaming, though. At least for, for horror, between, like, 2008 and, like, 2013. Hometown? You could say that. Travis is delightful. Good luck, soldier. Thanks. 
Thanks for the ride. Honestly, if I was Travis, I would not bring anyone near any town. Okay, every time I want to start talking, there's a cutscene. Judge Holloway. Hey. I've only beat this one Are once. You home? Does your mother know? She didn't say. Anything. Thank you, Myro. No, I haven't talked to her. Actually, a lot of white jump scares anymore. than this. I'm not planning on sticking around for long. Oh. Well, I hope you get a chance to catch up with Elle. I'm sure she'd love to see you. She's still here. <laughs> You know how it is. No one ever leaves this place. Yeah. Yes. It's not so quiet. It's changed. Mm. Yes. Not for the better, I'm afraid. You should go home. See you. Perhaps I'll see you. Um... You look well, though. Thanks. I forget what the hell I was talking about. So yeah, some interesting details. One is that Alex was a soldier in the United States military. He's just getting back from combat. And then also, the thing that she said, I don't know if you guys caught this in the back, some of you probably did, uh, when she says that no one leaves this town, um, you saw Alex's last name, which is Shepard. He is what his family is one of the founding families of Shepherd's Glen. Mom and Judge Holloway talking in our house. Don't you guys love it when you just find a nasty Polaroid in an abandoned courthouse? Cornelius Fitch. So Dr. Fitch is a direct descendant. So you have Fitch, you have Bartlett, um, and he just said that the Bartlett's have always been mayor. And then Holloway. So Judge Holloway and her daughter Elle sent letters when they left for the war, more letters than anyone else sent. Um, sometimes I wonder how things would have been if I were born into a different family. Ooh, combat roll. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, imagine this guy comes back. Imagine your daughter's childhood friend comes back from the military, comes into your office and just like barrel rolls around and, and like kicks a chair. Hey, Judge Holloway, can I ask you a question? Why sure, doesn't my family love me? What is it? Why is the town empty? The town seems empty. All the stores are closed or boarded up. What's going on? It's complicated, Alex. A lot of things have happened since you left. I really think you ought to just go home. I noticed a banner out front that said something about an anniversary. Yes. The town's 150-year anniversary. But wasn't that celebration like years ago? I thought I remembered being here for it. You're right. Things tend to stay in one place around here. I guess it's time we took that down, huh? Was that when all the businesses started closing? I'm it's the anniversary of Alex being a bad been bitch. A while. I was just curious. You need to go home, Alex. Your mother's not been well. She needs you. What did What's you do wrong? to my mother? Is she okay? Go home, Alex. Your mother needs you. We can tell you later. Um, I will say that this game has one of the very few, like, relationship ships that I have in this game, which is Elle and Alex. Uh, one thing that I really like about this game is how semi-open world it is. It's a beautiful house. I've always wanted to live in like a Victorian house. Hello? Hello? Huh, that's strange. We can't barrel roll into that chair because it's a plot point. It's a photo of dad, mom, and Josh. I don't remember this one. I must have been gone when they put it up. I will say, I mean, I'll be able to talk about it once we get to the, the point in the game. I And I, I said this, this game has a really good reveal at the end. It has one good reveal and one reveal I don't really like. It's a picture of dad, mom, and Josh. How come I'm not in it? I know I was there. Oh, right. I must have taken the photo. Alex is such a sad, like, it's just so sad. This is a photo of the whole family. We're at one of the town festivals. 
Everyone always thought we were the perfect family. I guess people believe what they want to. Imagine, I hope none of you actually can relate, but imagine your family having family photos with everyone except for you. Remember mom sitting here cradling Josh as a baby. It's a letter from mom to dad. She never sent me letters when I was in boot camp. Adam, I know that you will soon return to me, but I miss you dearly. Writing to you always calms my nerves. Everything here is the same, but with you gone, the house is so empty. The letter ends there. I guess she never finished it. A dab. Apparently those flashlights suck. Why would you do that? Oh, that's a pipe bomb. Look, take it. I want one for cosplay purposes. Okay. That is the most lazy sibling thing. Did any of you guys have to share a room with your siblings when you were uh, younger? Yeah, I shared a room with my sister until she moved out. It's a photo of dad and Josh fishing at the lake. Why am I never in these photos? Farewell. The bookshelf has seen better days, but there was something special about it. The map of her house drawn in crayon. Got a map of her house. I feel like I saw a door that was like partially open, but maybe I'm insane. My brother was always in prison, so he always had bunk beds. I wasn't ready for that one. Can I ask why your brother was in prison? I also think it's interesting that there's indentations at the on the floor because she walks in the same pattern. But I didn't miss you. I'm gonna go look around. You just. Stay I there. have a confession to make. I love nitrous oxide. Um, 
I can't talk to you right now, Alex. Fair roll. Anyway, I love nitrous oxide. I don't do it, but I um, used to in the hospital, in the hospital, in the hospital. Sorry, I need to stop pausing when I speak. I used to, they used to give it to me before colonoscopies, um, before they gave me anesthetic, because I have like a weird fear of like anesthesia. Hiya, Georgie. Um, but yeah, it's the only thing that I miss. Well, it's the only thing that like I don't mess around with. Well, what? It's, it's the only drug I don't mess around with recreationally. What? Why was I about to say it's the only drug that I don't mess around with? It's one of the many drugs I don't mess around with, but I need to not talk because Ness needs to edit this into a YouTube video. I will expand on this thought. Damn, what if it got him right in the penis? The monster design this is so freaking insane. It's so good. Anyway, it's one of the... up. It's one of the few things that like I won't recreationally do because I know that I will keep doing it. So I just don't even get into that. So I'm up for a garage door sitting top of a water pump with a tune down here. But no underneath. If it runs out of fuel, use the can from the garage to fill it. Adam. Well, the pump won't start without gas. I should check the garage. If it was like, dang, it has no batteries. Ah, oh, come on. Another one. Like, ah, oh, it's just such a cool design. Thank you.